Okay, so I'm Chase Ambrose with the Georgia Ghostbusters. This is a replica of the Ghostbusters Proton Pack from the Tainted Love comic that our member Hal Clay built recently. Um, you can see there's a little bit of damage to the bumper. He used the orange uh, Hot Wheels track for the bumper and uh, the paint's peeling off of it. Anyway, um, he's building a more accurate pack for this. This one's a little bit large, but I'm a fat dude, so I went on and bought this from him, and I decided to install some lights in it. He had a light kit, which the remnants of are right there, that uh, didn't really work too well. So the lights that I chose are this strobe light kit that you can get at Walgreens for 10 bucks. And uh, there's a couple of guys on the GBFans.com boards that have uh, used this in in their regular Proton Packs. The problem with using it in a regular Proton Pack is the uh, basically it blinks 1, 2, 3, and then 1 and 4 uh, both blink at the same time. So, uh, so it doesn't really look very accurate. But if you're going for, you know, if you're not really going for accuracy, it's a good, it's a good substitute. Anyway, I decided that because there are so many lights on the cyclotron here that it would probably be a good, good mix for this. Uh, I installed the lights tonight, and I put the switch box right here on what I call the bell board, since Hal chose to use a freaking hotel desk bell, although it does look like a bell in the schematic drawing. Anyway. Uh, my plans are to put a warning sticker of some sort on the box so it's not so obvious that it's a switch box. And of course, uh, I instead of fixing the uh, the black, I think I'm just going to use that as spots to weather, to add some more weathering. But anyway, here is what the lights look like. As you can see, they cycle around the cyclotron and I had two extra lights. And uh, these lights come with little chrome bezels around the, uh, bezels, bezels, I don't know. Anyway, they come with little chrome things around the light itself. I literally uh, just put some pressure on it, broke those uh, apart, and pulled them off. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I pulled them off of, well, not with the ribbon cable in the way. I pulled them off of the, uh, of the light, just broke, kind of broke them around it so the chrome is still surrounding the lights. And since I happen to have two more, I just positioned one on one side and one on the other. But uh, the end result looks pretty good. And uh, I'll... Oh, shit. Yeah, my battery's dead, so I'm plugged in. Anyway, here it is with the lights off. So there you go. Any future builders of shoulder packs from uh, Tainted Love... $10 light kit looks pretty badass. Uh, just a little piece of advice from your friendly neighborhood, Georgia Ghostbusters.